A who's who list of professional wrestling Hall of Famers are in Evansville this weekend to participate in a legend reunion and to celebrate the career of Jerry the King Lawler. The two-day event begins this evening and runs through Saturday night at the National Guard Armory in Evansville. And joining us now to talk about the show and his own career, WWE Hall of Famer, the Godfather, Charles Wright. Welcome back to How Evansville. Y'all oh, doing great. So we did a little research. Uh-oh. And we went in, back into the date books, and we found that on January 10th, 1990, you were in town. Does that sound familiar? Yes, yes. Uh, so, and you were at the Coliseum. Mm. We had Steve Austin, uh, the Punisher, uh, the soul, your soul taker, all that ring a bell to you? Do you know who the Punisher was? <laughs> Who's a, no, the Undertaker. That's right, the Punisher yes. was because that's when back in the, that's when I was watching mm -hmm. all that uh, many many years ago. I, the Undertaker was my favorite. Um, I mean, well, of course, there's many of them out there. But talk about Evansville. You got your career started here. You know what? Everybody got their career started here. Evansville, working for Jerry Lawler. Everybody, anybody who is anybody has come through Evansville. And it was also payday. Wednesday night was <laughs> yes. payday. So it was we, a very important day. We have heard that Wednesdays were paydays here. Why, why Evansville? What, what, what made yeah. Evansville so big for wrestling? Probably just because of the wrestling history here, uh, the knowledge. It was a great wrestling town. Uh, we sold out every night, every Wednesday, every Wednesday. We would come here and just a great crowd, great people, and great atmosphere. So do you, have any, do you have any memories, any stories that you can tell? Not that I can tell on TV. I must say, it, it, we got to make sure they're family friendly <laughs> first off, the Godfather. Come on now. <laughs> uh, we, uh, we stayed in Nashville. Most of us lived in Nashville. We traveled to Memphis, Louisville, Evansville, and places in between. Mm -hmm. So we would just come in here. We wouldn't stay for the night and then drive back. But it was a, a weekly Wednesday night thing. Would you agree, I'm going to say this because I live in Evansville, would you agree that the Coliseum is probably the, the most legendary venue out there for wrestling? One of them, yes. That's why it's such an honor to be back here now doing what we're doing. So you start out with Jerry Law. You've become good friends of him over the past yes. years, years, years. What, what's this event mean to you to have this? Oh, my. See, Jerry gave me my break, my very first match ever in this business was against Jerry the King Lawler in Memphis on a Monday night. He has given so many people their start. He has helped so many of us with his announcing, you know, during our careers. He's just a great guy, has helped so many people, and it is an honor <laughs> to be here and to be part of his celebration. So can you recall when the last time it was that you were in Evansville? Oh, my. Um, I did an autograph signing here maybe seven, eight years ago okay. was the last time I was here. And I heard, we were talking earlier in commercial break that uh, you said you asked me, said, "Is the Coliseum still here?" Yes. Your eyes lit up when I said yes. I want to go see it. <laughs> I said we got to go by there before we, I leave here. We're going to go by and see it because there's so much history there. Yeah, and I mean, I mean, I, the Von Erichs, everybody has gone through there. And it's so interesting how it's just it's the Coliseum in Evansville um, that that really got all this going. So talk about your career. What made you get into this? <laughs> I was working in Las Vegas at a club. I was a bouncer, manager, doorman. Back then, you were everything. And they were filming a movie called Over the Top. It was with Sylvester Stallone. It was an arm wrestling movie. And a lot of those guys were wrestlers in that movie. And at the, that time, I'm 340 pounds. I'm a power lifter. And they're like, you should become a wrestler. And the funny thing is, back in the day, I grew up in the 70s. Back in the day in the Bay Area of California, San Francisco, roller derby was much bigger mm. than wrestling. <laughs> so I grew up watching roller derby, sure. believe it or not. And uh, we talked. I made some calls. And uh, things worked out very well for me. And then I met Jerry Lawler early, and he gave me my break. He really did. What I didn't know hardly anything. And Jerry's like, I can work with you, kid. And where did you get the Godfather? How, what, where'd that name come from? The Godfather uh, came from these hats. <laughs> The inside of these, these are called Godfather hats, and that's where we got the name from. Really? Yeah. I'm going to let it go at that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I've seen some videos there. Yeah, Godfather. I'm going to let it go at <laughs> we that. Gotta, this is a family we got to keep a fa the family show going here. <laughs> well, I tell you what, have a great time at Evansville. Get down to the Coliseum. Enjoy your time here. Welcome back. Good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. And please come by tonight uh, after the celebration tonight. Yep. Jeff Hardy is having a concert. And then, of course, there's wrestling tomorrow night. So please come down and see all that and see everybody and have a good time. All right. Will do. Pleasure to meet you. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Ron's forecast for you is coming up right after the break.